Okay, it's morning and I've been busy. I started the day with adding new molds on to the statue. So, again, the tunnel down here set up. Then, of course, readjusting the shirt itself. And of course, the tool will be right here. And repairing the ear on this poor guy. So the last thing that will be needed on this guy is the Burma hat. And that I think I will use plastic to shape and then attach with super glue. And then I'll put probably on the top portion here, apply some materials, probably cotton, to hold it all together and give me a better base to work off of after I do all the carving of the other pieces. But best to let this set up for the rest of the day so that it has proper time to cure. Okay, so I've taken off all the uh, cardboard and mask tape, completely removing the forms, and then I took a pencil and started tracing off the areas so I know that above this line I definitely need to get rid of, smooth it down. And gone not only above but to the sides. So I know to get rid of this portion here, which actually turns out to be quite a bit. <laughs> Went a little overboard on that one, but basically I know what to get rid of. And I'll also be in center here to develop the wrench head. I've marked out the hand and what I need to get rid of. Done the base of the shirt. So I know the bottom will definitely be coming away. So I take it right down to the concrete. And the upper portion will be uh, carved down. So I get the pleats in the shirt and such. And of course, I've got the tunnel here, which I know I need to carve a little bit in center away. And of course, carve the outside more. The only one I didn't mark off was this back portion here, because this is supposed to be the back of the hill. And I'm just going to essentially flow with a lot of the uh, bumps and such that are already in here. Just smooth them out a little bit so that it becomes more hill-like. And I won't need to worry too much about the back here. Just clean it up and make it softer bumps and such. The main fork here should be on the front portion because that's where I need to spend my time reshaping but at least the plaster is cure and set all I have to do is carve it tomorrow okay and now I'll show you what I've been working on for the past couple of days we'll start off with what was taking the longest time which was this overdress I had to 
on the inside. Uh, completely seal the seams of the velour patches that are sewn into it so that it won't fray. And being that there were uh, four velour patches on this dress, well, this overdress, it can only be worn over top of something like a skirt or a pair of pants. But it's a good outfit for me. I was wor also working on this skirt, namely getting uh, the side panels finished by inserting this little black piece here and sort of making a pocket because of it. And I tend to have this these two together so as part of one of my costumes my original design for Lady Death which is a Grim Reaper style costume and of course Grim Reaper can't be all together without the black cloak I have my black coat here I did have to fix the hood as it was starting to come apart at the seam, but also fix the clasp portion. Now, the beads themselves, the silver beads, are actually attached to the cloak. This joint right here on the front of the cloak is completely sewn together. So I actually have to slip it over my head, but that's okay. I made these uh, class ends from a set of earrings, Halloween earrings, and I can detach them. So these are detachable, the silver chain is not. So I can change out the skulls for something like roses or something really nice. Well, this black cloak doesn't have to represent death, but other characters too. And last but not least, I was adjusting this ankle brace in order to fit my leg. As it was originally constructed and store-bought, it would not fit my leg at all. And I didn't feel like actually uh, selling it <laughs> or returning it. So I opened up the center, uh, center top here. And then added elastics on loop. These are adjustable for me so that I can actually open it up either through the elastic parts here or I can do it easily by the zipper. But at least they're adjustable. So depending on how big my ankle is or how much. Uh, support I need. I can actually take these off like they're intended and adjust it to offer more or less support. But at least now it does fit around my leg. And by adding these parts here, the parts that are uh, black trimmed with brown suede, We're not part of it. This is why I've attached it to make it larger in order to fit me. 
also took a, quite a bit of time because I made sure that it looked nice only on the outside but on the inside as well. So that when it's rubbing against my leg it won't rub me raw. It'll stay comfortable. But that's all the sewing projects that I've been doing for the entire couple of days while the pa plaster on the statue I've been drawing. So I'm really glad I had today off instead of working today. I'm glad I made the switch. Allowed me to focus a little bit more on getting things done. Even if it did make my fingers raw. <laughs> At least the sewing's done. For the most part. I still got a couple more projects to finish off in the alterations and such. I got one sundress and then one cosplay top to repair and make better. And then once those are done I think I'll be able to start shooting some footage of all my cosplays for you to enjoy. But I'll come in the future once those are done. And meantime, since I've got the rest of the week to finish that statue before Saturday, I want to get it done by then. So tomorrow I'll be working on the carving of all the plaster to get into the right shape. And hopefully by uh, after the carving's done, uh, put down a layer of primer onto it so that I can actually do some painting. But that's for later. Right now, since it's getting close to midnight, I better call this vlog night. Until next time. See ya!